today, Bitcoin saw a 17% drop, which was a 6,000 decline back down to levels so low that they haven't been seen since uh, Thursday. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? In this video, we're going to cover what we're seeing in the charts, plus some trade setups in both Bitcoin and Ethereum that we are watching this week to make you lovely people some profits. So if you're at a loss currently after today's drop, have no fear, Bitcoin Daily is here. Hey, what's up, Jay here, and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you learn how to become a profitable and successful trader. On this channel, we do a lot of market analysis, going over different trade ideas, and we teach you guys how to trade to help you get to that next level. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you've been here before, then you already know what to do. Smash that like button and drop a comment on this video. Show us some love. So today we're going to look over both the Bitcoin and Ethereum charts and we're going to figure out exactly what's going on. Then at the end, we will give you guys a couple trade setups to hopefully make you guys some profits this week. And we've been on a streak lately, so I don't suggest missing that part. Are we the only channel making people money that actually gives you guys profitable trade setups? Let us know in the comments below if we haven't made you guys any money with our free trade setups that we post every single week. All right, guys, no more talking. Let's dive right in. As you guys can see, we're currently at about 32,600 right now. Looking at the chart here, you guys can see this huge wick right here. That was today's candle. As you can see, it closed up. So this is pretty, pretty bullish, actually, a pretty bullish candle right here. That's uh, what you call a pin bar. So that's when the price gets pushed down like it did today. As you guys can see, we came all the way down here and tested this 61.8% Fibonacci level. And right on that golden ratio, that 61.8% golden ratio, we took off, guys. We had a very, very nice bounce. And then the next candle um opened up green so that is very bullish and as you can see we've pushed up over this 23.6 percent fibonacci level so that is bullish guys um what it's what it's telling me here that we were able to hold this fib level um bunch of buyers came in this level which was at 61.8 percent and it was also around that that twenty eight thousand dollar range as you guys can see there um, and, and we just took off after that. We just bounced right back up. Uh, and you can see we're currently right on top of this Fibonacci level. So right now the levels that we're looking at here, we're currently watching, uh, that next resistance is obviously going to be that 33,000 mark. Then we're going to have that 30, that 34,000 mark. And then the major one, the third resistance is going to be up here, which is that 35,000 mark, which is also the high and it's a very very big whole number remember people love big whole numbers just mar market psychology so those are the main levels that we're, we're going to be watching this week let's zoom in here to the four hour and see um if we see anything a little differently here so you can see here when we topped out and just had that drop all the way down which led to today's drop remember on sunday going to monday there's always a drop for some reason like lately for i would say the past month every weekend um the price has spiked which is why we have so many gaps in the cme um and then when it when it, when we go sunday to monday there's usually a price drop right um so it's it's happened several weeks now for several weeks now probably i would say three out of the last four weekends uh maybe is that we've had that now as far as what it could be if, if you look at the cme futures charts here you'll see this huge price gap here right so there's a big price gap that whole area so that means that we closed here on friday and we opened here on on sunday right so what ha what tends to happen a lot of times when there's a lot of gaps on or, or, or when there's big gaps is that bitcoin likes to fill them 
So those gaps tend to get filled. Now it doesn't happen 100% of the time, but it does happen. So for example, to, uh, this weekend, we had a huge gap, right? So we had, we closed there on Friday. We opened here on uh, Sunday. So what happened? We had a sell off that came right back to where we closed on last week, right? But like I said, gaps don't always get filled. If you guys look over here, there's another gap. This is a huge gap right here. And that has not been filled. As you guys can see, the price has just continued up. We did have a push down. You see here how it opened here on Sunday and then it kind of went down a bit and then it you know, it took off and now kind of this, a, a similar thing, except this time we actually filled the gap, right? So we still haven't, we have not filled this gap right here. Currently, this is a open gap on the CME. Um, there's another open gap right here. And um, there's another gap right here. Let's see, was this one filled? It's around 18,000. Yeah, this one, this one was more or less filled. So that's something to always uh, watch for, especially, you know, um, look at this gap right here. This gap was is all the way down to 18K. So currently we have um, a gap right here, this huge gap, and then this one already got filled, right? So now, you know, it, it obviously leads to question, will we fill this gap? Um, this gap is down at uh, about that $24,000 range. So we need 24,000 to hold. If, if, if this wouldn't have held here, we would have definitely dropped down to 24 because that's where the other gap fill is. Um, and if that gap doesn't hold, then we'll drop all the way down to fill this gap, which is down at $18,000. So that's a scenario that you should be aware of in the event that it happens. Um, again, not gaps don't get filled 100% of the time, but sometimes it does and you have to be prepared for that scenario. As far as supports that we have here, um, we have the Fibonacci level right here, that 23.6, which is right around that 32k area 32 200 around there um then we have the 38.2 uh, support as you guys can see there's been uh support right there support right here now we did have this huge one but you know um but it did it has shown support in those areas and that's right at that 30,500 mark right um and then the last one well not the last one but um, the next one we have is that 50% uh, Fibonacci area, which is right around that 29,000. And then we have the golden ratio, which is 61.8%, um, which is right around that 28 to 27 ish uh, thousand range, um, as you guys can see here. Um, and that would be our biggest uh, support there. So right now we are seeing kind of a, a bull flag pattern here as you guys can see you, you can uh, definitely make the connections here there you go boom and you guys can see that we have this bull flag pattern basically uh, you know impulse move up so we have the move up and then consolidation over here uh, we had uh, this hold the support right here and then now we're currently bouncing back up So we're, we're currently at the top of this range, which might be while we're currently um, Having trouble trying to break through it right now. So you see right here. We're, we're having a little trouble breaking through But we are in the green uh, for today's candle. Um, we just got to get past that 33k zone um, If we have a breakout above that 33k zone, then we should be testing uh the previous all-time high, which is around $35,000. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. As you guys can see, it had an incredible move over the weekend. Um, and it, it so far this year is just taking off. Um, it's currently at $1,100. This move basically started at 700 and it just took off to $1,170, guys. The biggest move we saw was yesterday where 
um, Ethereum went up 26%. And then today we saw Ethereum up 6%. So here are the major resistances that we're looking at. It's gonna be the this high, this previous high here, then it's going to be that 1200 mark. So that's the two levels that we're watching here as far as resistance. Now, if we see a drop off, then we're looking at the 1000 level first as uh, the support, which is also the 38.2% Fibonacci level. Um, then it's that, uh, that 50% Fibonacci level, which is around 950, 944, but that's a little bit of a weaker support. Um, the next big support is going to be the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level, which is also aligned, um, with that $900 big hole number, right? Um, so that's currently what we're watching. Um, and you see that that's where on this drop today, um, that's where that bounce happened, right on that Fibonacci level. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. As we said, we're now gonna jump into some trade setups for this week that we're watching to hopefully make not only us, but to make you guys some profits. Make sure guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, and if you found value in the content that we've been providing to you guys so far, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and drop a comment. Let us know what you guys think and let us know what your results are from these trades if you do take them. All right, so for the first trade setup that we're watching this week, we're gonna start with Bitcoin. Um, right off the bat, um, the, the main thing, the main one we're looking at here, let's zoom into, let's zoom into the four hour. So we want to see this zone right here, right? We want to play off this, uh, the bull flag. We want to play off the Fibonacci level and we want to play off this breakout. So, um, you see that we had a test here of 33,000, you know, it tried to break out and it, it did not break out. So, um, the trade that we're looking at here and then we're looking for here is a break above 33k so we want to see a break above 33k with some volume as you guys can see the volume is pretty low right now um we we want to see some volume um and and that push up and we believe that if it does break 33k it'll break out of this bull flag and it'll test uh 34 and 35k again so um, that's the first, that's the breakout trade that we're watching. That's the first one. Um, and then the second one would be a breakout above these new highs, right? So, um, a break above 35 K, um, there's going to be a lot of volatility. So you have to be careful playing it. But, um, I think in the long run, it would, uh, a 35 K break would eventually take the price all the way up to $40,000 per Bitcoin guys. So um, that's the second breakout trade that we're currently watching. Now, if Bitcoin does drop again, um, this is the way that we'll play that. We'll be watching this down here. So first we're watching that Fibonacci level. That's a 38.2% level, which is also 30,500. Um, and then we're watching the bottom of this range right here, which is just around 30,000. I, I imagine by the time this would get here, it would probably be closer to 29,000, which would also coincide with that 50% Fibonacci level. And, and then of course, if that doesn't hold, then that next support is that 28,000 level. So we'd be looking for entries on one of those supports. If in the scenario that the price were to get rejected here, and drop down right so remember the, the way that we like to enter the support entries is not on the drop itself because if you enter on the drop and it continues dropping then guess what you get stopped out and that's not a high probability trade or a good trade because you're going to take a loss um so what we want to see is a drop and then a bounce on this bounce that's where you want to take the trade because you will be taking it with momentum back up and riding that wave of buyers that are buying the dip. So next, let's take a look at Ethereum. So the level I wanted to give you guys really was this main level right here, that 1000 area, which is right there. You can see that, you can see that. So there's a lot of confluence there. Um, so if we were to see a drop, that 1000 area is definitely where I'm unloading my, um, my cash, my fiat, and just throw it, throwing it in. Of course, on a bounce, though, um, I don't want to buy it when it's going down. Um, 
if it continued down, then that next area is going to be around that 950 area. But like I said before, it's not too safe. So I much more prefer this the golden ratio, which is right around that 900 area. Um, for breakout trades, currently we're looking at trades above 1100. Um, that's the first uh, trade that we're looking to take uh, for a breakout. And then the second breakout trades that we're looking to take would be above this previous high. This is the past year's high basically. And that's where we want to take that next breakout trade. So that pretty much covers it guys. We looked at the charts, uh, did us a, a little analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then we uh, gave you guys some trade setups um, for you to make some wonderful profits this week. Then you guys subscribed and liked the video, right? Right. If you guys have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comments. And uh, we almost always answer all the questions if we have an answer for you. If we don't have an answer, we try to find someone called Google who might make sure to check out our momentum trading tutorial and that will help you identify when and where to enter some of the trades that we're taking. I also recommend our Fibonacci retracement tutorial where we show you exactly how it is that we use our Fibonacci retracement uh, to find levels of support and resistance to then, uh, you know, set up some trades with high probability. So that's it guys. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash it if you can, and then hit that like button as well. Nice and soft on that one though. And hit the notification bell because you want to know as soon as we post these videos, you don't want to be late to the party and miss a trade, miss out profits. You want to get it right away. So that's it guys. I appreciate you guys. If you watch to the end, as always guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and love.